Hello and good evening. I'm Christopher Lesane, the Interim Dean of Student Life, the Athletic Director, and the 10th grade health teacher. And although we started off virtually learning, I am so excited for the school year. Let's go Wolfpack! Good evening parents. Thank you for coming to the DBCR virtual back to school night. I am Ms. McNulty and I am teaching your juniors government and economics this year. I'm one of three teachers along with Mr. Chapa and Mr. Miskimmons. The first part of the year we decided to focus on government, especially since this is an election year. Um, I know not many of my juniors are able to vote in this election, but if you are or anyone in your home can, please make sure that you're registered and check your local area for how to get registered so that you can vote in November. The second part of the year will be devoted to economics and micro and macro. So how to look at it as a big picture and a smaller picture. If you have any questions and would like to contact me, please do through, through email since we're not in the building just yet. Um, if you give me about 22 or about 24 or 48 hours to answer you, I should be right back in touch. If you have difficulty finding this, please ask your student, they'd be able to help you. Um, I hope you have a good evening. Again, thank you for coming to our virtual back to school night and I hopefully will get to meet you in the second semester. Good afternoon, parents and grandparents and guardians and juniors. My name is Emily McSwain and I have the honor of teaching English 3 to 11th graders this year. English 3 and Honors English 3 are launching our study into American literature. So not only will we get to study the diversity that's inherent in the American literary landscape, but we also get to interrogate the historical representation of narratives and voices in American literature. Students will be challenged to use their own voices and to take ownership of their own opinions on all of these topics as we study and as we question texts together. And this year in English, students can expect to improve as writers, whether it's writing reflective pieces, creative pieces, or analytical arguments, they'll get better and better at revising and expressing their own thoughts. They can also expect to grow as thinkers because they'll be making their own goals and striving to succeed and reach them, and they'll be thinking about their own thinking processes through a portfolio process. Students will grow as readers too because they'll be reading inside of class and they'll be reading outside of class. So they'll be learning words and collecting new vocabulary as a way to strengthen their lexicon. And along the way, we'll be gathering new literary terms to strengthen their literary device arsenal as well. Even though this year has started off virtually and strangely in some ways, I really am hopeful that it will be full of learning and growth and maybe even fun. Even though I've only had a handful of, of classes so far with this group of students, I already love them. I'm really excited to spend more time this year with them, whether it be virtually or in person. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me this year with any questions or concerns that you might have about the class or about the curriculum. I look forward to growing as an educator this year, and I look forward to learning from you and from your students throughout this process. I'm committed to supporting your students so that they become their best self. And I know that that's what you're doing too. So I look forward to partnering with you, family members and guardians, as we go into this year together. I pray that your family is blessed with health and safety during this difficult time. And I'm looking forward to a great year. Hi, I'm Ms. Cooney, and I'm your student theology three teacher this year. During the first semester, we'll learn about moral theology, and during the second semester, we'll learn about sacramental theology. If you have any questions about the unit breakdown or anything about class guidelines, please take a look at our class syllabus. This can be found in your student's OneNote notebook, and your students can definitely help you navigate to that syllabus. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns that come up during the school year, please feel free to reach out to me. My email is scooney at dbcr.org, and my phone number during uh, distance learning is 202-854-9202. I look forward to working with you and your students this year. Thanks so much and have a great evening. Good afternoon. Uh, I am Miss Anderson, 
and I am also teaching um, AP English together with uh, Miss Enns. I will be in charge of the juniors who are in AP English and Miss Enns will be in charge of the seniors who are in AP English. However, uh, both juniors and seniors uh, meet at the same time each day from 3.30 to 4.30, and both Ms. Ens and I are always um, co-teaching that class. So um, if you are a parent of a student who is a junior and you need to get in touch with me about their grade, their progress, uh, questions or concerns about assignments that they have, you are more than welcome to reach out to me at manderson at dbcr.org. And if you are the parent of a senior and you have the same kinds of questions or concerns, you can reach out to Ms. Enns at ENs at dbcr.org. Since AP English is supposed to prepare students to take the AP English exam and be successful on it, uh, this class is going to be significantly tougher than some of the other classes that your students might be enrolled in this year. Um, and part of it is because we have to get through quite a number of texts in order to give the students enough experience with those texts to be successful on the AP exam. All the texts that we chose to read with the students this year show up a lot on the exam. So we are hoping that they are the best texts to give them as much preparation as possible. The texts that we are going to read uh, go chronologically through history. So the first text we're going to read is Beowulf. It is an epic poem. And one thing that you might notice is that each unit has a main text, but it also has uh, some secondary supplemental texts that are supposed to expand the student's understanding of that unit. After that, we are going to move into Shakespeare and we are going to read The Tempest. Um, followed by uh, Victorian literature. And specifically, we're gonna focus on Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. By third quarter, we're moving into more modern texts. So by January, we should be reading Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Um, so Shakespeare was our old uh, play that we did. This is our modern drama that we are going to cover. And then finally, we are going to finish the year by reading um, a contemporary novel uh, that is a science fiction novel called Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro. And that takes us to the end of the year. So um, please get in touch if you have any questions. And Ms. Ens and I are thrilled to be teaching AP this year. Um, we have been looking forward to teaching a class like this for a few years. So we're really glad that we get to um, teach this particular group of juniors and seniors. Hello, my name is Sam Chapa. I am the chair of the Department of Social Studies. I've been working at Don Bosco for 10 years, and I will be uh, teaching American government and economics to your child. Just to start us off, right now we are using this American government textbook. There will be a different textbook for the economics in the spring, and your child should have received both of those when they came in to pick up their textbooks. We will be using these textbooks, so hopefully you'll be seeing those being used quite a bit. Um, but as you know, this is a unique year and we are starting off at least the first semester virtually. And so you'll notice that your child is also using the internet quite a lot, uh, particularly Microsoft Teams. And we'll be showing you the, our Teams page and some of the things that we'll be using there. Um, but I will be sharing videos, I will be sharing presentations, articles um, that will engage your student as we learn government in the, in the fall. So we'll be talking about civil rights issues that are very current right now. We'll talk about the election that's coming up as well as the general system of our government. And then in the spring, when we come back in January, we'll transition to economics. And so we'll learn a little bit about microeconomics and their own finance. And then we'll also learn about macroeconomics, the economics of the whole world and how our country and, and large organizations function. And so a lot to cover this year, um, but I'm been looking forward to it. Yes, it will be a challenge teaching your son and daughter online and for them to learn from us online. And I recognize that. I recognize that there will be frustrations, there will be exhaustion, and there will be lots of questions. Um, and the same thing for me. Uh, I expect those to be the case with me as well. And so I, work, I will work together with you as the parent, with the student, to make sure that we are helping each other out. We're expressing those frustrations and we're working together. So briefly, I just wanna show you our online portal. So I'm gonna share my screen as I would with your student. And this is our page on Teams. And so we can see government. This is the second period government class. Um, and so we will be meeting twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays at 10.30 a.m. And so it'll be from 10.30 to 11.30. And the link is right here as well as the password. And so the student can always find that. They can also communicate with us on this thread here 
or you can see on the left hand side every week we have our assignments posted so here you can see the assignments for week one what they were to do during the zoom session between the classes as well as their homework which is due on thursdays and so they will know that every week and they can submit that work either through turnin.com which we'll use for many things or they can even turn in through uh, this program here on teams we have assignments where they will be able to submit certain assignments um, in this class and so they have had a quiz that they had to complete last week on that and then they will also be using Flipgrid which is a great tool for them to record videos and respond to each other's videos and one of the nice things about this opportunity is they get to see each other and essentially talk back and forth and recreate a little bit of what a live classroom looks like it's not going to be live it's going to be different we're going to do our best and we're doing our best to educate your sons your daughters um, so that we can all get through this so thank you very much for your time and I look forward to a great year everyone, welcome to DBCR's 2020-2021 Back to School Night. Back and better than ever, Mr. Miskimmons back teaching you guys again. Instead of freshman U.S. history, this time it's 11th grade government. So we're not going to watch as many war movies. We're not going to read as much from the textbook. More discussing of our government, the formations back with the Founding Fathers 250 years ago. Legislation, the three branches, the ju judicial, executive, and legislative the amendments, talking about our civil liberties, how amendments get pushed to the front today, how all these different agendas with elections and whatnot coming up are important, the Electoral College and that process. So it will be a lot of fun and enthusiasm, just like two years ago when you guys had me for history, but the topic is slightly different. It's still American, it's still history, but it's heavy government. So um, you guys can always reach me at smiskimmons at dbcr.org. I'm very pumped about answering my emails and um, the kids so far in class are doing real well as we're working on the foundations of government and they're doing good at reading the posts on teams, getting their homework in on time. Overall, I'm very happy as you know they are on the college prep track. They're in the back half of their high school education. This is a tough year, junior year, a lot of work, a lot of transitions, but it is worth it when you get those college acceptances next year and hopefully some college scholarship money too. I'm always in your corner, guys. I'll help you out in whatever way I can. Happy back to school night, everyone. Hi parents and guardians, my name is Julie Pinto and I'm your student's pre-calculus teacher this year. I'm really excited to be teaching your students this year and I am looking forward to seeing how online learning plays out. This is my sixth year of teaching, my first year at Don Bosco. I'm from Dallas, Texas originally. Um, and I wanted to give you a little bit of information about our class and ways that you can reach out if you have any questions. Um, so this is from our syllabus that is in your student's team's files. Um, through this year, we're going to be covering different kinds of functions and um, how to describe them and their applications to real life. The best way to contact me is at jpinto at dbcr.org. That's my email. Um, if you have any questions, concerns, ideas for how to help your students, please reach out to me. Um, and if you would like information about the class, please refer to the syllabus first and then um, feel free to reach out if you have any questions about makeup work, test corrections, absences, um, expectations for the class. Um, I look forward to meeting you eventually, and I hope you have a great day.